Hey guys, welcome to this new setup. How do you like it? I wanted to do something fresh. I've been cleaning up my space because this new moon, I'm sorry, <laughs> this full moon is rocking my butt. Uh, feeling very uh, jumbled. And I've been hearing from a lot of different people in my life that they are really uh, living it. Also in Chicago, you know, um, COVID cases are spiking. A lot of people are now reacting to this increased risk. We just had a huge storm. And yeah, so if you also feel like it's been a hell of a week, <laughs> it's because it has. It totally has been. Yeah. So uh, maybe some, some helpful energy for this weekend is to sort of just lay low, stay in, uh, do some grounding exercises, like tend to your space, clean it up, work on that to-do list that I mentioned from a previous video, all the things that you feel like you want to finish this year. And don't, don't give yourself too much to do. Just do the things that really feel good. The stuff that's actually going to help you feel more secure or grounded. And um, you know, talk to some friends. Virtually, I recommend. I'm staying in. Um, I had an email come through this week of potential COVID exposure at a holiday event for work. So I went and got tested. I'm doing fine. I don't have any symptoms aside from um, this crazy freaking energy. It's all over the place. I feel just tense in my body for no reason. Like nothing is really happening to me, but I do feel it when people in my circles are living it. I feel it a lot. Just a deep breath. Let's see where we go with this. I got Wisdom of the Oracle deck because I love its messages. Time for a nap. This came out recently. No place like home. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how to lay these out. Loyal heart. All in the reverse. Time for nap was reverse too. I don't know why I did that. 24, 50, 35. Hmm. Something that once felt pretty uh, harmonious here is being challenged by this brief period of um, discomfort, this sort of like turbulence, if you will. There might be a, a desire or like an intensity wanting to come out versus instead of resting some people might be feeling like they need to go and you know loyal heart i love this card but it's also in reverse i feel like this is like when you you know you're so faithful to others that you're ignoring your own needs maybe that's why no place like home is here in the reverse as well so if you're ignoring your own needs here for rest to help others. We can clarify that. Let's see what relevant messages are in here.
Aha, uh -huh, so loyal heart in reverse is about letting go of old attachments. Betrayal is only a sign that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Okay. So by doing that, there's there's a greater aspect of like coming home to yourself by setting up some, some healthy boundaries here. If 50, the no place like home is a card of authenticity. Like feeling at home in your own skin. So what do we say about... There are times when the what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Ah, human beings are memory-driven creatures and we all look for certainty for what we know, even if the qualities we seek in other people and in external direct conditions are expressed in unhealthy ways. Avoid being too eager to find home. I see. Choose something unfamiliar and trust that there you will find a new normal that supports your spirit. If you do what you did, you'll get what you always got. Do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable, because what feels right is really what feels familiar, and you will attract and be drawn to the very things you don't want anymore. This time will not be different unless you do something different. Hmm. You've gone as far as you can. You've worked hard and nourished people and projects, but now you are an empty well and have no reserves for others or for yourself. Don't let your ego keep you going full speed when your body and spirit need rest. Exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're doing altogether and take a break. If you don't, the appearance of this card could portend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. Yeah, okay, well, I feel that, and that's a message that's come this week a few times. Um, it's kind of funny. I'm not funny, but just like personally in my life, I've sort of taken a hard stop to things that I know will drain my energy, which is primarily just over socializing, seeing folks, trying to mitigate my own risks by limiting exposure. The other side of this is if there are things in your life that you're just used to doing, reacting or behaving in certain ways that have gotten you to where you are now, um, the message is that something new is coming and that it's no longer going to work to do things the way that you used to do them. Don't seek out the comfortable. Seek out what's uncomfortable and feels like growing, feels like expanding world underneath look at that yeah something is ending and a new cycle is beginning there's the hard work you've been working hard struggling <laughs> the hermit virgo energy um doing your work sort of like this is sort of like shelter in place this is like keeping your head low and moving quietly but that doesn't mean nothing's happening it just means that things are happening below the surface oh yes the devil the star oh my god whoa <laughs> Shit. the devil and the star someone is is healing some really big shit here we're Hopeful in the face of the things that bind us. It's almost like you're, if you're this wild Sasquatch. 
this wildness, this departure from home, departure from the things that are familiar, departure from the things that people expect of you, is, is really what's breaking you free from this devil energy, this, this liberating, hopeful, healing energy. The feeling I'm getting is sort of like when, when like people scream into the wind. Just like, fucking let it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. This is a really intense period of time right now. It's the last full moon of the year. Yeah. I sense that there will be a, a brief feeling of disappointment at first to feel like you're leaving behind something that has worked for you for some time we do leave pieces of ourselves behind at least the version of ourselves that we feel like is what's standing us up you know what I mean whatever we're propping up on propping up ourselves propping ourselves up on clarify the world there's the work working some more so this could be a situation that you've invested a lot of time in literally this is something you've worked on for a, a project a situation a partnership a relationship yourself that you've really dedicated yourself to other people might not know the amount of work that's gone into this, but you know, you know that it's been a struggle and, you, and this is maybe something you've really kept to yourself. It's maybe made you feel more grounded, like more secure. And so this is, this is why you did that. Taking this time for reflection. But still, there's like this calling now to try something different. There is this wild, this wild, and the, you know, the Sasquatch and the devil all surrounding the star. So this is all towards the ends of healing something, finding hope about a situation. But there's a lot of effort There's like a lot of mixed feelings about this. In some ways it may make you feel more confident and sort of ready to, to take on the world and maybe you feel like there's, you're finding a sense of direction and you're moving in that direction, but that doesn't make it less painful. It doesn't make it less difficult to do it. Let's find the seven of pentacles, clarify seven of pentacles please. Mm -hmm. the nine of Wands. Four of, of Pentacles. By the way, we got a lot of nines here. Nine. Hermit is a nine. Nine of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Nine, nine, nine. It's an angel number right there. So it's almost as if in the recent past, if you're, if you're the person doing this work on yourself, going through, you know, experiencing struggles, but definitely having them in your awareness and working on them, you're sort of going deep into this personal experience. Um, you might now have this, this, 
this information about the situation or about yourself in your, I'll say, loving awareness. But I don't think it's enough to, like acknowledging that and holding that doesn't lead to new life necessarily. It's like, this is possibly what this, this devil is insinuating is, okay, I found, I found my, my truth. And this Knight of Cups, he leads, he, he creates movement with truth leading his heart. But it's almost like if you hold on to those things in the past that were true for you in the past too much. Like if this is, if you're, if you're saying like, well, this is who I was and this is to the point that this is also a part of who you are now, like you, that your past doesn't have to dictate who, how you're changing. Like there's, you do leave things behind. You can leave something behind here for this fresh start. That's sort of what it takes. Let's see how this person is like holding on to their pentacles. They're like, yep, this is me, and this is me, and this is me, and this is me. This is all my shit. But you don't have to hold them so tightly. You don't have to hold on to that stuff so tightly, I don't think. Because what wants to come is, is sort of this new life. Spring, it's the spring card at the end. The card just fell. I think in the recent past, the message the message really is, is like having gratitude for the for the challenges you've overcome. I'm grateful that now you have this this new insight that you've put in the effort and you've been able to see some sort of difference in your life, maybe in how you feel specifically, but. So time to try something else now. Let's see what comes up for the devil. Three of Pentacles. <laughs> um, for the star, it's the fool. Show me the Sasquatch. Ooh, Ted of Pentacles. Wow. So the message I'm getting very strongly in the present moment. Um, the thing to liberate yourself from could be potentially... Um, pay attention to how you've expressed yourself, your ideas among other people. Like, what is it that you tell others about yourself to be true and are you changing that narrative over time of like when you do you like update your sort of spiritual resume or something because if not then there's a possibility here that um other people who don't see this newness in you will just assume that you are still um going to react and behave in in the old pattern so if you don't want that anymore the the message here with the devil might be something like surround yourself with people and and let others know especially your friends your collaborators your partners the people you interact with in a, in some meaningful way um of the things you're trying to get free from if you bring it to other people's awareness, then you will, you know, hopefully find support in that to, to move towards that end. Because, look, the star, the healing was clarified by the fool. There's a new beginning. It also does not fall under the constraints of any of, you know, your day-to-day, your, -day, your old, old life. The fool moves in a way that has no boundaries. Too much of this could be a bad thing, but I'm seeing this as a very positive thing. As in, you know, if you woke up and had amnesia, if you woke up with amnesia, who would you say today that you are? Like, how do you feel, really? 
if you can see everything as new and inspiring and really just move towards that end it might feel this is why the wild sasquatch is here because it might feel a bit wild to just go off go off the rails a little bit but what's showing up here is that this is the path to your ten of pentacles this is how you create your legacy this is how you create harmony in your happy home and um, abundance in your life so if you've been stuck in a rut doing the same old thing over and over again definitely a message in the present moment to just try something different I will say the full moon in Gemini though like that's today there the energy of the full moon in general can be a bit impulsive so I would maybe try to balance impulsivity with you know, just recognizing what you're passionate about. Um, you don't want to fall off the cliff like the fool because he didn't map the, tr you know, map the route, his hike or something. <laughs> you end up climbing a mountain for 12 hours and get there after dark or maybe sunrise the next day. Yes, that was a thing. So let's go into the future now. The um, nine of pentacles ooh the ghost yeah yes <laughs> what are the ghost stories you tell yourself to stay comfortably scared that's the devil that's that's this that's this energy right here it's almost like you've gotten you're almost past it like you're almost through this but stop going back to that person you once were pick a different option pick pick a different do anything besides the thing that you would the thing that you're programmed to do Sure, does it feel good? Yeah, it's comfortable. The Six of Swords, please. The moon, uh-huh. The moon represents riding the wave of the unknown. It's our fears, it's our subconscious. This is, this is requiring a lot of bravery, honestly, in the near future here. The moon is what pulls us. What's pulling us? And the, the Six of Swords is traveling. We're moving away from the things that once made us comfortable. Just these ghost stories. This false sense of confidence. It's almost like survival mode here. This person on the boat, they, wanna, they actually want to be living, not just surviving. And to do that, you got to get in touch with your subconscious, with your fears. The things that turn on the like automatic switch in your brain now you're just sort of operating loosely in the world but like without any sort of real intention and that could lead to this feeling of disappointment here in the near future but the five of the five of cups to me is always a bit of a blessing because we can't see the things that are that are good that are right in front of us when we're when we are looking at our fears our, our past our ghost stories potentially a false sense of confidence or maybe the things that made us confident in the past are just now you know recognize the nine as as patterns behavioral patterns that we have to leave behind they're no longer serving us there's a lot of pentacles here so that's um That's a bit interesting. It's almost like this personal journey, emotional, cognitive, personal journey is wanting to transmute into something real in your life. But you have to start behaving differently to get the life that you want. Five of Cups, please. It's a trick. Yeah, of course it is. I got the goblin. 
This feeling of disappointment is really your mind tricking you. It's just because I'm not, I'm not, I'm no longer doing the same thing that, that releases the dopamine that, <laughs> um, that feels comfortable. So yeah, we're going to feel a little bit wobbly. That's a trick. You're going to be fine. Take a deep breath, stretch it out. Let's get some advice. We have the two of wands, three of swords, two of swords, and the king of wands. So the message I'm getting with these is maybe some advice, you know, spend some time, pl plan to be around people who, who do inspire you and who, um, whom you can inspire as well. There's sort of like this, there's two twos here, like a sense of mutual, um, Someone who's like maybe on your level and like riding that wave who also wants to um, release any negativity or just say no to those like past painful uh, memories. There's definitely planning involved. That's what the two, the two is. Where are we? There we are. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna pull one more card. Since it is the full moon. Hey moon, how are you? Communication is key. Okay, so new moon in Gemini is what came out. Gemini is where the full moon is right now. Oh my gosh, butterfingers. Is it going to do it? Okay. Communication is key. Let's just read some of this. Gemini is the sign of communication, just like natural. It is. What's its ruler? What's its. We're gonna do this. Struggle it. Anyways. It says, attune to the moon. Write a list of all the people you love most and see if you're prioritizing them. Time to tell someone how you feel. Don't be all in your head and not in your heart. Someone is flirting with you. Read more books. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I love this Moonology deck because it's sort of all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and just like close it off with reading this whole page because there's good information in here. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Taking things through, talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. And if you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. 
but most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. Gemini is the sign of communication and socializing, of ideas and travel. And the energy around it and around this card, no matter when you pull it, is speedy, gossipy, and flirtatious. The new moon in Gemini is a wonderful time to get out and socialize. Gemini loves a chat. I don't know, I'll disagree with that, but one thing to be aware of this is that this card can also indicate being mentally scattered. Daily meditations will help to unscramble crossed wires in your brain. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling today is more, um, so again, we see the, the message of needing to be very clear, you know, there's, and the reading sort of showed a lot of clarity around one's self and sort of expressing that to other people. So that's definitely reflected in this moon card. I will say because it is the full moon today and not the new moon. So the, the new moon actually happened six months ago. If there was an intention you set set six months ago from today, see how maybe it's manifesting today. Six months, now six months later. If there's something that you had been working up towards, this is what might be coming finally out now is this realization perhaps that Um, wow. Okay, so th this realization maybe that if you're moving actually away from your subconscious fears here, the thing that's really trying to get your attention could lead to disappointment. If you take the alternate route and confront your, your ghost stories here, whereas the, the Sasquatch, if you're a little bit more wild and accept the wildness of the subconscious to permeate your very physical world, I think you'll find more, um, hopefully more acceptance, at least within yourself there will be. Um, it is a good time to maybe have some important conversations to get out in the open, but I would just say to that, um, stay grounded. There's a, a lot of jumbly, jumbly, jumbly energy out here today. Schwaus. Good luck, everyone, with this full moon. For real. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day.